What's up everybody, I'm Gorlodik, two-time Olympian and today I will finally release my off-season program. This program is for 100 meter, 200 meter and 110 meter hurdles. A good preparation is the key to run fast. In the last month I made a lot of video about sprinting, weightlifting and recovery. But mostly important is how to put this puzzle together. Sprinting is a science and we can learn about it every day. Coaching is very individual. For me it's mostly important that you understand the concept. If you just start with sprinting you can probably do less. But if you're sprinting since many years you can also add some weightlifting exercise for example to the program. In general, you have to know the quality of the training is most important. It's not effective when you sprint in a bad posture because you're tired. When you're sprinting, your nervous system needs to fire up all the time. But to recover from this high intensity training, your body needs a little bit of time. If you already have a program, but you want to implement some parts of my training program to yours, that's alright too. In this video, I will explain my training program. In the description, you get the full PDF and also the links to all exercises. In the first two to three months, all sprinters train together. Doesn't matter if you're doing 100, 200 or 110 meter hurdles. The first months are there to improve your fitness, acceleration and also your strength. When this period of time is over, it's getting more specific. So hurdlers start hurdling, sprinter work on a sprint speed and 200 meter runner work on their curve starts. The program has a three week cycle. In my opinion, the most effective way to get fast. So you have two hard weeks and one week to recover. Afterwards, you can push into the next week. Recovery doesn't mean that you just chill out. It just means that you do a little less workout than on the other weeks. It's not possible to train all out all year long. The risk of injury would be very high. In general, you should always listen to your body. If you don't feel so good, you can always do less. As you see, Wednesday and Fridays are recovery days. On Wednesday, you do a bike workout. On Friday, you do easy crash runs. The intensity of this workout should be always low. Sunday is always off. I would recommend to stay on the grass for the first 2-3 months to protect your bones and joints. Even Usain Bolt trained a lot on grass. Alright, I start now to explain the workouts. Mondays are always a little easier. It wouldn't make sense to start the week with a crazy workout. The goal is that you still have energy end of the week. So the acceleration should be more technical. The skip for distance and the backward runs are perfect for your hips and hamstrings. Mapbox throws are always good to get your nervous system going with quickness. Tuesday is a nice acceleration day. After warming up you do some wickets and afterwards excels. The intensity of this workout should be high. Afterwards you do some low amplitude through the mid jumps. After the workout you do around 30 minutes of rest. Then you start your weight room session. When you lift you should always do weight room warm up. So you get your body ready for the weightlifting session. Thursday is another sprint day. So the intensity gets very high. You also have more rest in between. The quality of the training session should be very high. When you run up to 50 meters, you should run technical clean and very fast. In the weight room sessions, you have two fast weightlifting exercises to fire up. Saturday is the hardest day of the week. That's the reason why you have Sunday off and Monday is always a little easier. After running over the wickets, you're doing grass conditioning. You have two rounds, so a total of six runs. But be careful, don't start too crazy. If you break down in the middle of the training session, it wouldn't be good. In the weight room you have heavy split squats, RDL and one upper body exercise. Afterwards you do some rudiment jumps. I hope I made everything clear and next week I also work on my favorite core training for you. As you see in the video, all exercises are explained in the video in detail. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. 